Silicon is the most abundant mineral element in the Earth's crust. So all plants rooting soil contain silicon in their tissues. Silicon has not been recognized as an essential element for plant growth and development. But it does have a number of beneficial effects, which are characterized by protecting plants from biotic and abiotic stress. Higher silicon accumulation is especially important for the higher and sustainable production of rice, which is a typical silicon accumulating species. When silicon accumulation is not sufficient, rice becomes sensitive to pathogens such as blast, powdery mildew, and insect pest attack. These beneficial effects of silicon are mostly attributed to the deposition of silicon in different tissues. A dense deposition of silicon as phytoliths could be seen in rice leaves. This deposition functions as a physical barrier to protect the plants from various stresses. Therefore, to benefit from silicon, a high accumulation of silicon is required. During the last decade, several transporters involved in silicon accumulation have been identified, mainly in rice. Two different kinds of transporters, ELISA-1 and ELISA-2, are involved in silicon uptake in rice loads. ELISA-1 is a channel-type transporter, permeable to silicon, and belongs to aquaporin family, while ELISA-2 is an efflux transporter of silicon. Both ELISA-1 and ELISA-2 are highly expressed in the mature loot region. ELISA-1 and ELISA-2 are localized at the same root exodermis and the endodermis cells, where Casparian band is located. But ELISA-1 and ELISA-2 show different polarity. ELISA-1 at the distal side, while ELISA-2 at the proximal side of both exodermis and endodermis. Knockout of either ELISA-1 or ELISA-2 resulted in a significant loss of rice yield. This is a wild type and this is an ELISA-1 mutant. You can see the discoloration in the mutant seeds due to pathogen infection. If you compare the fertility, you can see that the fertility in the mutant was greatly decreased. Therefore, cooperation of ELISA-1 and ELISA-2 is required for the efficient uptake of silicon in rice. By contrast, ELISA-1 and ELISA-2 are localized at the different cell layers in other plant species such as barley and maize. ELISA-1 is polarly localized at the epidermis and the cortex cells, while ELISA-2 is localized at the endodermis without the polarity. This difference in the localization are one of the major factors responsible for different silicon accumulation in different plant species. Recently, we performed a mathematical modeling by changing the localization of ELISA-1 and ELISA-2. We found that the polar localization of ELISA-1 and ELISA-2 at the exodermis and the endodermis is the best combination for high performance and cost-efficient silicon optic in rice loads. Furthermore, we found that the Casparian stripe has an important lure in rice for the efficient optic of silicon by preventing it from moving back to the upper plast. Silicon in the xylem set is unloaded by ELISA-6, the only homologue of ELISA-1 in rice genome. ELISA-6 is localized at the xylem parenchyma cells and also shows polarity facing toward the xylem vessel in the leaf shears and the leaf blades. It is responsible for transporting silicon out of the xylem. Loss of this gene in rice results in increased silicon in the gradation drops and altered silicon distribution leaves. This is because knockout of ELISA-6 altered the pathway of silicon movement. At the reproductive stage, silicon will finally be deposited in the husk of rice. The distribution of silicon to the rice grain is also mediated 
by ELISA-6. ELISA-6 is localized at the xylem transfer cells of nodes. It also shows polarity facing toward the xylem vessel. Knockout of ELISA-6 resulted in decreased distribution of silicon to the panicles, but increased the distribution of silicon to the flag leaf. ELISA-6 is responsible for the intervascular transfer. Transfer of silicon from the enlarged vascular bundles coming from the roots to the diffuse vascular bundles connected to the panicles. In Bale, in addition to ELISA-6, HV ELISA-2 was also identified in the node. It is localized at the parenchyma cell layer next to the xylem transfer cells with opposite polarity of HV ELISA-6. Therefore, a co-operated transport system is also required in the node for silicon distribution. For more detail about the mineral element distribution in node, please watch our another video abstract on node. Another interesting aspect of silicon is that there is a wide variation in the concentration of silicon in the above ground tissues among different plant species, ranging from 0.1% to 10% of dry weight. These differences have been attributed to the capacity of the roots to take up silicon. A search of silicon transporter genes in public databases shows that in flowering plants, genes encoding LSI1-like and LSI2-like transporters are found in both monocots and dicots, such as grass, palm, banana, citrus, grape, poplar, bean, tomato, pumpkin, and coffee. However, the exact role of these transporters in silicon uptake remains to be examined in future. Although all plant species contain silicon, only a few silicon transporters have been collectorized. In the future, more silicon transporters are expected to be identified in different plant species. And also the mechanisms responsible for gene expression regulation and the polar localization of silicon transporters remain to be investigated. Silicon makes plants stronger. <laughs>